frozen shoulder is a very painful and disabling condition. Quite often, not always, but often, there is an involvement of the supraspinatus muscle uh, and its tendon, which go there under the AC joint, and therefore people cannot really raise their arm to the side. Typically, they will, apart from the fact that they cannot elevate the arm, they will also complain that, well, of course, they cannot calm their air. Um, attaching the bra is also difficult because this is a stretch of the supraspinatus, etc. etc. The treatment is a very long process, but as a, as a patient of frozen shoulder, you really have to make sure that you preserve the shoulder mobility. Uh, basically, the, the sayings goes like, well, if you don't use it, you lose it. But you see, preserving the shoulder mobility against gravity is very painful. And on the other hand, you don't want to create pain either, because pain leads to contraction, and contraction will just further stiffen the, the, the joint. Look what I'll do. If I go like this, flex my neck and go down little by little, you see that when I'm here, actually my arm is along my ears, meaning that if, I'm a, if I would be raised, I would be like this. You see? So this is a trick. Instead of trying to raise your arm, bend down forward and naturally you will uh, create the same position of the shoulder joint without any pain. There you can swing your arms front, back, sideways, make circles, play a bit with your shoulders. That preserves a lot, a lot the mobility of the shoulder. And then to come up, you bring your lower belly down and you inhale deeply. And that will make you uh, straighten up safely. This exercise is an exercise which I recommend at least three times a day for people who have frozen shoulder. But honestly, there's, there's no maximum. You will not hurt yourself uh, with that. And that on the joint is way lighter than uh, raising your arm against gravity. So this is really today's hidden secret which can change the course of things for your shoulder.